Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be visiting the flood infested version of High Charity that we see during the brief epilogue at the end of Halo 2. You know, the after credit scene of Halo 2. So, in the scene, we see, you know, what's left of High Charity after the flood invaded it. And you can see the grave mine and the flood has pretty much spread all over uh, High Charity. But we only get to see a couple scenes of it. So, for this video, we'll be taking a look at the entirety of the Flood Infested High Charity, or at least what exists. So, here we are in game, playing, making that part of the cutscene playable, because normally we don't actually get to play on that version of the Flood Infested High Charity. I know the mission that's actually called High Charity, where there is Flood on it, is also Flood Infested, but. We don't get to see the aftermath, like the, the final results of that in Halo 2. So here we are. Now unfortunately in anniversary graphics, well it doesn't exist in anniversary graphics except for um, these two things up there, which you can actually, they're always loaded in an anniversary graphics. So if you're, if you stand from the control room in normal gameplay and then you look over here in the distance and you zoom in with like a sniper rifle or beam rifle, you can actually see uh, these things loaded in. And I've done a couple of videos on it in the past, and you can actually see, you know, some of the cutscene stuff that's still here. But you can never actually reach this location. Uh, and of course, it's most of it doesn't even show up in anniversary graphics anyways, even if you could reach it. Uh, but anyways, here we are, and we'll be sticking to classic graphics, and let's explore around a little bit. So, you can see that the uh, that flood mist outside, with all the, uh, the flood particles floating around. It, uh, it actually doesn't extend all the way inside. In fact, this lower section of High Charity is, uh, well, first of all, it doesn't really go very far. It gets cut off here. But in this room, it's actually untouched by the flood. In fact, this whole room is unused in the cutscene entirely, so that explains why it's there's nothing in here. This graph lift is actually, doesn't actually work, which is a, a little bit surprising because on the intro cutscene, where they also use another version of High Charity, I recall that the graph lift does work in game if you made it playable, uh, but on this version, it does not work. Also, these uh, these pillar things, one of them is like slightly in the ground, so if you like touch it, it just kind of like flew out of the ground for a little bit, and then this one was floating above the ground a little bit, and it just drops down when you touch it. So, there's that. Uh, unfortunately, the flood, the flood biomass everywhere, it, that is only spawned during a cutscene, so I only just loaded the section of the map by itself, so that's why a lot of the flood biomass isn't here. But we can uh, we can still see uh, some aspects of it being floodified still. Uh, now these two corridors they don't lead anywhere. In fact, once you go down these two corridors, it gets super dark. So there's nothing really there. Uh, there's also no flood you know mist in those areas because you also don't see those areas in the cutscene. But once we're in the main area of the council chambers here, we get more flood mist again and a much thicker layer of mist because it's like much harder to see and. It actually blurs the lights a little bit too on the ceiling, uh, and you, you can even travel down that tunnel that Gravemind Senecal has come out of. Uh, so that's a uh, actually pretty interesting to see where where he originates from. But there's nothing down there, and it's actually sealed at the bottom as well. So technically, he couldn't have uh, come from down there, technically. But yeah, so this is uh, this is pretty much all there is to that cutscene room, actually. You know, most, only a small little section of the playable high charity map is reused for the cutscene, and a flood mist and a little bit of wreckage is added to it. Uh, but that's about it, actually. They did not reuse the entire high charity, not surprisingly. But it is interesting to see the extent of the flood mist and how it's where it's used and where it's not used. Uh, but there you guys have it. That is what the flood infested high charity looks like during the epilogue, or at least what we can see of it that we don't normally see in the cutscene. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting, and if you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts and comments, anything else you want me to check out or look into, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely do my best to check it out when I get the chance. Uh, but aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!